Hello! So I recently went to a wedding and I saw something I've never seen before and I'll probably never see again. At the wedding reception there was a trash can and inside that trash can there were 16 of these, 14 of these, and four of these. And what they made with those is what this video is about. Now, of course, this is the Math 901. So at the time at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the time that the actual math word problems will start. If you want to fast forward now, you can do that. But if not, sit back and watch this exciting and very hilarious video of the trash can milkshake. 100,000 plus calories. All right. What you doing, Wade? I'm making trash can milkshakes. All right. What's a trash can milkshake? Well, in this instance, the trash can milkshake is 14 gallons of vanilla ice cream. 14 gallons. Four gallons of whole milk. Four gallons of whole milk. And 14 packages of Oreo cookies. All right. In a trash can. In a trash can. Okay, what's next? All right, now the 14 boxes of Oreo cookies. 14 boxes of Oreo cookies. <laughs> Classic. Okay, now what are you doing? I'm adding the first gallon of whole milk. Yeah. Get around the sides. Where'd the bit go? The mixer. And we'll see what the groom wants to do from there. Uh, the bit was over there. But you gotta, like, you don't have a burn drink. Does anybody know the man who brought this to us? They're all getting through a mouth. Yes. Uh, it's a boy. I lost my friend. She's a boy. Whenever this is ready, you have to. You have to do it. No, no, no. This is your thing. Yeah. Uh, I just want to know. More? More? Hey, uh, can I 
Okay. Your command. Hey, Brad. We got one more now. Oh, Turbo. Do we need more milk? It's Oreo. Would you please? Okay, yeah. I've got the honor. Would someone hold the couch while I scoot? Yeah, we'll help you. Okay. Can you almost scoot back there? Yeah. We're going to do that thing. Oh, wow. He's a good one. Just a second. You don't want to get the cups ready for Lawrence? Not yet. We're not hungry. We're going to get some before we go. Those are pretty good. Oh, that's great texture. Yeah. Great texture. First scoop. We'll stage it. There's some on the... There's some on the... <laughs> Is it coming? Woo! It's not actually coming out. You're welcome. Colton, what's your secret? It's not running out. <laughs> this is never ending. What's your technique, Colton? Uh, you gotta do the double scoop. And depending on whether they want a lot or a lot, I give them one or two scoops. <laughs> you, gotta, you can't drop it down by the cup. You gotta drop it high. Ooh, aim, aim is everything. Thanks, sir. Very welcome. Here's a double scoop. Two at a time. Here we go. Boom. Oh, got you. <laughs> enjoy that. Enjoy that extra. Little <laughs> bit. Yeah, give it a little bit more there, William. Hey, some mortar, please. Perfect. Looks like it too. Looks like a mystery story. Remember the distance. <laughs> He added too much milk at once. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. There you go. Oh, that's good. Did you guys see it? How is it? That's really good. How is it? How is it, John? Use some good trash can milkshakes. Don't be bashful with these. How much do you like it? Okay, wasn't that neat? I thought you would like that. Now, we've, we're going to do three uh, percent proportion word problems. In the first problem, the 30-gallon trash can milkshake contains 16 gallons of ice cream, 4 gallons of milk, and 14 boxes of Oreos. What percent of the trash can volume was not taken up by the ice cream and milk? Okay, so we had 16 gallons of ice cream and we had four gallons of milk and the question was what was the volume that was not taking up taken up so let's look at this this is 20 gallons that's the total taken up for those two now let's look at our uh, percent proportion we have percent over 100 equals part over whole. So in this case, what do we have? We have part, which is the 20 gallon, and we're looking for percent. Our part is 20. We know the, the trash can is 30. 
So we've got 20 over 30 equals, and we're gonna, we're gonna change that. So we've got 20 over 30 equals x over 100. Okay, I could cross multiply, but if you look at this closely, the zeros cancel, that leaves us with two thirds. So two thirds is being used That means one-third is not. And the question was what percent one-third, of course, is 0.33, which when we move the decimal, we get 33%. So 33% of the trash can is not being used. All right, in this problem, 300 people attended the wedding reception. If 75% of those attending tried the trash can milkshake, how many people did not try the shake? So we're gonna use percent over 100 equals part of a whole. We will use it this time. So we said 75 is our percent over 100. And our part, we don't know. But we know our total is 300 so we're looking for X now so if we look at this uh, we can cross multiply or we can say what do you do to the 100 to get to 300 well you multiply by 3 if you multiply the bottom by 3 then we'll multiply the top by 3 and that would be X equals 225 now is that our answer well all right. The question says, how many people did not try the shake? The 225 is how many people did try the shake. So we're going to have to take 300 and subtract 225, and that leaves us with 75. So 75 did not try the shake. And that is our answer. Okay, for the next problem. At the wedding, 78 men, which was equal to 60% of the men, wore both a coat and a tie. How many men were in attendance? Okay, so in this one we have 60% over 100 equals and we have the part, which is 78. In this case, we're looking for the whole. So we will cross multiply. And we'll get 60x equals 78 times 100. So 78 times 1 is 78. And then two zeros. We have 60x equals 7,800. Okay? So if we divide both sides by 60, So x equals 130. So again, percent proportion problems. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would subscribe, we need your support. Hit the like button. Stick around. We've got a little bit more footage uh, from the trash can milkshake reception. Thank you. See you on the next video. You had a long way to go, didn't it? <laughs> Hold it. Right on there. What'd you say? This is why you use a spoon. Okay. Very good. Good job.